Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. What we're going to do is to find the length of, of any kind of arc is you have to know its central angle here, which will be expressed in radians for this video, and you also have to know the radius. So you're going to take the entire circumference of the circle, 2 pi r, and multiply it by which part you're talking about. That's the central angle over the entire um, spin around the circle, which is 2 pi. It's always going to be 2 pi expressed in radians. All right, now I did an example here, which I won't go into now, but let's go ahead and try these two examples. So I'd like you to pause the video and work out the length of this arc on number seven and this arc on number eight. All right, number seven, we have a two pi over three central angle. That's two thirds pi. Remember, pi is halfway around. So we're two thirds going halfway around. So what we do is we write down the entire circumference, which is always two pi r, and the radius in this case is nine feet. And we're gonna multiply that by two pi over three, and we're going to divide all of that by 2 pi. All right, so let's go ahead and move this 3 down to the denominator and cancel out some factors. So 2 pi 9 2 pi. In the denominator, we're going to have my 3 right next to my 2 pi. Yes, cancel out common factors of 2 and pi. And notice we can cancel out a 3. And let's see what's left. Okay, nothing left in the denominator, but we have 3 times 2 times pi, which is 6 pi. 6 times 3.14 is 18.8 feet. All right, number 8, I hope that you tried it. Central angle is 7 pi over 6. The radius is 15 inches. So we do get the answer 55.0 inches. Let's see where we get that. The circumference, 2 times pi times the radius, which is 15, times the central angle, 7 pi over 6. All of that divided by 2 pi. Let's move that denominator 6 here into the main denominator so we have 2 pi 15 7 and pi obviously there are some shortcuts here but I'm gonna go ahead and show all the steps here don't forget to have the 6 right next to the 2 and the pi now of course a shortcut a main shortcut here is to notice that when we're doing this in radians we have the circumference, which involves a 2 and a pi, and we have the entire circle, which is 2 and pi. Those are always going to be constant in this formula. So you notice the shortcut would be to take this central angle times this radius. Okay, the two pi's cancel out, leaving us with just these two things multiplied together. All right, so. Notice here I could divide out a 3 and a 3. So that's a 35 pi over 2 and round to the nearest tenth is 55.0 inches. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. And now we're going to move on to the next video in a self quiz. Can you find the length of arc of any circle in degrees and radians? All right, look for it in my um, playlist and geometry, and good luck. All right, there you have it. 
I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.